somehow we got into our heads that learning stops at 18 or 20. And, we, you know, you even back to Piaget, you know, the, the founding fathers of child-centered education, he never was interested in anyone over 18 because the brain was formed, everything was fixed. And what we know now is there are dimensions and dimensions of adult learning. And the way that adults learn is different from a five-year-old or a 10-year-old or even a 20-year-old. And what we need to do is encourage and exploit those innate abilities for everyone to learn for the whole of their life and smash those myths which say, I'm too old to learn, can't do that. I learned those skills 20 years ago. They'll last me till I retire because we know that all of that is rubbish. A, they won't last you. And B, someone of 80 is as equally able to learn well and to keep their cognitive um, life alive as someone of, of 18. And so there are, there's a world to win there. And my belief is that if organizations are going to thrive in the kind of unknowing um, confusion and complexity of, of the world we live in now, it's only when s that their staff are able to keep learning and keep pivoting that, that makes any sense to me. So this is the age of learning. And I, I find it extraordinary that people don't say, well, that's obvious, but they don't. And it's still challenged. And learning budgets get cut faster than, faster than any other budgets often when it's seen as kind of irrelevant. And also just that concept of different kinds of adult learning from informal to formal, from with people on your own and to be able to make those links and connections.